Hello, and thank you. I'm very glad to be here, and not just in the sense that I went out and almost didn't manage to find my way back into the room without, uh, without uh, running into the Minotaur. Um, uh, it's an, un an indescribable privilege and um, uh, a pleasure to be here, to be able to address such a diverse audience. Uh, in, on, on that line, I'd like to thank the organization for providing such a unique experience. The manifesto that I'm about to present is also a unique experience on its own, uh, not just because of the boldness of its proposals, but in the very way it was created. This is a collaborative work of very different individuals that were brought together uh, by their desire to create a future for Europe in which we still have a place, all of us, like it must be. Um, it was chaotic at times. It was, it was very tiring, um, but it was, after all, a, an exercise in democracy. Um, uh, the more than 40 people, the 70 people that you mentioned that directly contributed to the uh, edition and redaction of this manifesto uh, were not afraid of, tack of uh, tackling those uh, difficulties. We are afraid of what might happen if we choose not to. And, uh, well, we're here now, so let's. <laughs> uh, this is our manifesto, the manifesto for an European future. Uh, born out of the idea of cooperation, development and progress, Europe seems resigned to its current role and to have no future. Europe has forgotten the community of Europeans and seems to walk, shutting its eyes to a bleak present. The project of European Union seems to be fading before global transformations, and European recovery finds itself blocked by a bureaucratic process that conceals the fear of assuming commitments with historical reach. This Europe has forgotten the richness of its past, the upside of its present, and the democratic, environmental, and civic impulse of its process of construction and it has wiped the benefits of a political and economical integration among its member states. This is the time to stop the wave of selfishness and scepticism that threatens both European countries and citizens. It is time to rediscover the words of Shelley, we are all Greeks, or Kennedy, ich bin ein Berliner. We were born European. We were born in democratic nations, in a Europe without borders, and we want to take down the walls between European peoples. We are a group of young Europeans from Portugal, and more than identifying problems, we want to see Europe rise up again and trust in its citizens' hands the historical responsibility that appertains to them. We have come to convey that we want, and are able to, choose our future. We have identified three concrete areas in which we would concentrate our efforts. They are democracy, education and culture, and society and economics, which I unfortunately will not have time to present because I thought that I would have twice as much time as I have. The, you have the manifesto. I strongly urge you to read it. Uh, I will instead uh, read the uh, three concrete proposals that only makes sense in the ideological context of the three, these three areas that I've just mentioned. And our first concrete proposal is the direct election of the President of the European Council using the system of direct and universal ballot, the creation of an entity directly elected by the citizens with equality of representation for all member states that coordinates with the European Parliament in the initiation and debate of legislation. And we also suggest that the European parties or other civil movements indicate their nominees for a president of the European Commission and present common programs in all member states and defend the capacity of groups of citizens, regardless of their nationality, to resort directly to the European Court of Justice whenever, whenever they feel there is an evident deficit of juridical protection in their countries of origin. The second measure is the creation of a network of universities of the European Union headquartered in the countries expressing a greater qualifications deficit with normalized costs of access and based on mobility, free availability of information and publications resulting from it, 
Uh, and in the same way, this initiative can be extended to the pre-universitary level in the liking of the, the Comenius program and the centers of investigation that contribute both to personal formation and academic production, facilitating the transfer of people and knowledge and the consolidation of the European higher education system. And our third proposal is the creation of a European Bank of Public Capitals of microcredit or financing oriented toward loans that support the creation of employment. This would obviously combat unemployment and allow for the application of a lot of human capital on the economy and its modernization. The meritory role recognized to multiple national incubators would allow to add experience that maintains and guarantees uh, a success of the investments. We also consider that in the resolution of the problems identified above, the expansion of the competences and responsibilities of the European Central Bank are essential, namely in the issuance of common debt, as well as in an active agent in the elimination of tax havens in European land, but also at the global scale in cooperation with the remaining central banks. Uh, I'd just like to add as a closing note that although this manifesto to those directly involved is the culmination of a lot of work, uh, we don't intend it as an end, but as a beginning. Uh, we've all had to be willing to sacrifice a measure of personal view, but in doing so we created a plurality of opinion that is greater than the sum of all our individual contributions. And perhaps that is the meaning of union. Thank you.